Hi, welcome to Tradutex Portuguese Lessons. All Tradutex Portuguese Lessons videos are about European Portuguese. It means the Portuguese we speak in Portugal, not the Portuguese we speak in Brazil, because there's a lot of differences in the pronunciation and in the accent. So if you're interested about European Portuguese, Portuguese we speak in Portugal, Welcome to Tradutex Portuguese Lessons. In this video, we're, we're going to talk about numbers in Portuguese. Numbers 1 up to 10. Os números em português. De 1 a 10. Number 1 in Portuguese has two possible translations. We can say um or uma. Um, it's the masculine form of number one, and uma, it's the feminine form of number one. So, how exactly this works? Let's see an example. If the following word, it's a masculine word, like in this example, one boy, we have to use the masculine form, um, um menino. But if the following word it's a feminine word, like in one girl, we have to use the feminine form, uma menina. So again, number one has two possible translations. If the following word is masculine, we go to um. If the, fem if the following word is a feminine word, we go to uma. And we do exactly the same with number two, two possible translations. And again, it depends on the following word. We can say dois or duas. So let's see with an example. Two boys, dois meninos. Two girls, duas meninas. So dois and duas. But don't worry, because we only do this with number one and number two. So for the following numbers, we only have one possible form. For number three, we have três. Do you want to repeat with me? Três. So as you can see, because I have a S at the end, I have this sh, very soft sh at the end of the word. So every time you have the letter S at the end of a word, you do a soft sh, like in três. Number four in Portuguese is quatro. Do you want to repeat with me? Quatro. Number five is cinco. Let's repeat again. Cinco. Number six, and pay attention to that S at the end because it means you have to do a soft sh at the end. So repeat with me, please. Seis. Seis. Number seven is set. You can see that the last sound, that E, the last E of the word, it's really, really soft. So what we have is almost, um, we just stop almost in the consonant sound, in the T sound. Pay attention. Set. Do you want to repeat with me? Set. Very, very soft at the end. Now for number eight, we have the word oito. You see that the word end with an O, but every time in Portuguese, uh, every time we have a O at the end of a word, the right pronunciation is U. So let's repeat again. Oito. Oito. Number nine is nove. Same situation we've seen with number seven, set. 
so very soft at the end so we drop the, the E at the end and the result is NOV you want to repeat with me? NOV and the last one uh, number 10 is DESH so again, now I don't have an S at the end, I have a Z but again it's the same SH very soft SH at the end so let's repeat this one DESH do you want to try again? DESH thanks for watching